Right, in the last video, you saw I had a really crappy sine wave, and I was trying to work out what that was, but I had made the angle and I was testing the circuit. Now, what I've done is I've removed a center tap transformer that I used to give me a positive and negative rail, just replaced it with a couple batteries, just because I've worked out that that was the problem with the dirty sine wave. So I've cleaned that up. Now you can see on the screen that I have some clean sine waves. And you can see roughly, it's a bit hard to read that, that I have 6.10 milliseconds between those two lines. The reason why I can't get it perfect is because I can't quite work out how to get the lines to be where I want with giving me the proper scale. So what I've done is I've gone and measured the voltage phase to phase again coming out. So I've looking looking at the phase the voltage between there and there. And I've done the math. I've done the math so between the two I've got 1.494 volts at 29.25. Now in a three phase system that would be 30 degrees but that's because the difference, it's not 30 because of my magnitude error, or magnitude difference, you should say, between the two voltages. That's caused the angle to be a bit different. You can see I've got the voltage between them roughly, and it's moving around just a little bit, roughly correct to give me 120 degrees. Now, now the next stage is to build another stage to get another 120, so that way, from one signal, I get three, all 120 degrees apart. All right, come back next week, and hopefully we've got three phases going.